Hey hello everyone, I'm Bruffy1322 and this video serves as an update to the fastest supercars video where I show the best fully upgraded supercars in terms of top speed. For all the information you need about this series, check the original supercars video, but otherwise let's see where the news of Russell falls into that list. And as I was talking about when we were doing the lap time testing video, this is where there's a Russell kind of falls down a little bit. It's only in 23rd place overall, it is very very slightly quicker than the Thrax in terms of top speed, which you know, that's pretty impressive. But it's top speed of 124.3 miles per hour, puts it into 23rd place, and that's where it really lacks to be able to then compete with some of the, the quicker uh, supercars that have downforce and are better around the corners than there's a Russell. If there's a Russell had a top speed that was kind of similar to, you know, the Divest 8 or even the 811 or the Banshee 900R around that 130 mile per hour area, even though that it wouldn't be quite as good around the corners, it would be certainly competitive on certain tracks against those top vehicles. And 124 miles per hour is okay, but it's kind of just about the same as what we expect from the lower down supercars. You know, things like the, the Zentornos and the Adder has a slightly higher top speed. All that kind of stuff, it, it's a pretty standard top speed for those. But because it's slightly better in the corners, as I was talking about in the lap time testing video, it, it can't really be used against those cars because it's just a little bit too quick. So it either needed to have a lower top speed and be competitive with those cars or have a higher top speed to be competitive with, you know, the higher downforce cars. So, yeah, like I said in that lap time testing video, it is in a bit of no man's land. The top speed isn't that great. And again, it doesn't really have anything uh, fantastic about it in terms of top speed or cornering or acceleration but it does put everything together nicely and it is a nice car to drive it's just that from a competitive perspective it's not got an awful lot to shout about so that's pretty much it for this one consider supporting on patreon i'll become a youtube member if you want to get testing results early and remember to read the description for more info comment with your thoughts like the video if you enjoyed it found it helpful and subscribe for more thank you all so much for watching i really do appreciate it and i'll see you next time